Oh, it is a warm day. Hi guys, Chris from Coach My Skills here. Thanks for joining me today. Today I want to show you three essential dribbling drills. So these are great dribbling drills to work on by yourself. You don't need a partner for it. You can do it by yourself at any point, anywhere. Go and find some space and do it. All you need is a ball and some cones. And uh, you can start your journey to becoming a, a, a dribbler like these players here. First up, what I want you to do is if you have cones, set them up roughly 10 to 12. I've gone with 10 today just to try and simplify it and show you. So just set up 10 cones with roughly half a meter apart between each cone. And we're going to be using that for our first and second drill. Now if you don't have cones, you can be creative. I as a youngster, when I was younger, when I didn't have cones, I grabbed my shoes, any, any sort of uh, object possible, anything like that to put down that you can use to dribble through. But if you have the possibility of getting them, then I would say buy some because they're great to have when you're training by yourself. So the first drill is just going to be a simple leg weave. All that is, is uh, as we're coming through the cones, we're touching it with both the inside and outside of our foot. So we either go up with our right foot or go up with the left and we'll come back down the other way. However, whilst we're doing this, what I want you to do is as we're moving forward and weaving through the cones, I want your chest to be always facing forward, always facing that way. I see a lot of people when they're doing dribbling drills, they're coming through like this and they're turning like that and they're turning like that. I don't want you to do that. What I want you to do is at every cone and as we're going this way and you'll start to learn this with more videos that I'm doing, is as I'm coming through, I'm keeping my chest forward. As I'm coming through, chest forward. Okay, so always keeping that chest forward, and this will help us when we're playing in games as well. It is a warm day. That's the first drill. It can be actually quite tough at times because you're getting nice and low, so you're using all your muscles. So it's very good for the muscle memory as well. So uh, get practicing and we'll move on to the next one. And uh, just set the cones up again. My smart idea was to put it on a line, so now it's quite straight. So sorry about the other one, it wasn't so straight. Now we've got a straight line. And uh, just see what I've done with the, the pattern. Black and yellow. Alright, so the next drill that we're doing, this is the second one, you can keep uh, the same cones, we're going to use the same cones again. All this one is going to be as well, is you're going to be touching it with the inside of the foot to the other side and pushing it forward. So it's like a slide and tap. So it's like this, slide, tap, slide, tap, slide, tap, slide, tap. Okay, all the way up. Again, like the first exercise, I want you to be facing forward all the time. You might find that this is a little bit easier to do that anyway. Do this one up and down maybe 10 times as well. Um, since you're using both feet, it's okay. Just do it 10 times and try and, try and get that rhythm as you're going through. This is the third and final drill. So what this one is, is, you only need maybe six to seven cones. I've only done it with one, two, three, four, four. Can't even count. One, two, three, four, five cones. 
plus and marker. So I'll just quickly explain before I show it to you as well. So what we're going to be doing is just slaling him through the, through the cones using the inside of our right foot or left foot as we're dragging it. So it's almost like a drag across and as we reach the cone we're then going to cut it back and then drag across to the other cone. So you're going to keep slaling him through. What I want you to focus on, which we've been talking about the whole video now, is I want to get your chest facing forwards all the time. So as you can see the cones are going to be set up this way. I want to be keeping my chest always facing that way. So I just want to quickly talk about something very important that we've been talking about in the video already and that's about getting your chest facing forward all the time. Now the reason why I'm saying that and why you should get used to it as well is when you're dribbling and have the ball, if you keep your chest facing towards the goal as much as you can, what that means is when you have the ball you're able to go left or right, it's not a problem for you. It's when you start turning your chest to the, to the sides and facing sidelines, that's when it becomes difficult, it becomes difficult to turn other ways and things like this. So if you focus on keeping your chest facing forward all the time towards the place that you want to go, which is primarily straight to the goal, then you'll find it's much easier when you're def uh, up against defenders to move left and right, and you get to start to dictate how you want to move. So that's quite important, and you'll be seeing a lot of that in the videos that I'm doing. So now we've gone through those three essential dribbling drills. Make sure you keep practicing those. But what I've decided now, I thought I'd just add in a little bit at the end for you. Is I want you to weave through then go into the slalom and then we're going to finish with an end product so it's going to be either a pass or a, a shot into the goal but if you do have the chance to set something up like this I suggest you go and do it so I'm going to show you that now Finally, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, it helps the channel grow, so that would be much appreciated. Subscribe, comment, and also we have a Facebook group uh, you can join. So uh, that's just at Coach My Skills on Facebook. You can come and join the group. It's there to provide feedback and talk to me. If you have any questions, I can, I can answer them for you. And uh, yeah, and then we'll catch you in the next video. So I'll leave this one with a dab. Try and get a better one. No? I need some practice in that. Peace. Shoot, 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 shoot